Hey y'all, it's your girl editing Jada. This was originally supposed to be a reel, but I ended up talking about the topics longer than expected and it ended up being too long to be a reel. So I made it into a video, hence the format of it. It's long ways instead of sideways. I hope you guys still enjoy it. And it's like real funny. I loved it. That one made me want to share it with you guys on YouTube. So I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much and you guys continue to watch my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you. Hey, y'all. This is Jada, and I want to tell you guys 26 things I learned before the age of 26. Don't look at my broke now. I'm going to do it while doing my makeup because I'm about to get ready and film a video. But the first thing I'm going to say that I learned is you do not have to deal with toxic family members. I'm not going to go into detail about these things I've learned. I'm just going to like say it and probably say a little one, two after. I'm not going to go into great detail, but yeah, you don't have to deal with toxic family members just because you grew up a certain way or shoot, just because you ain't got to deal with toxic family members, period. Just like you can cut a toxic friend off, you could cut a toxic family member off. Number two, girl, friends come and go. Like, friends come and go. Do not dwell about a motherfucking friend because they come and they go, period. Number three, don't talk to just anybody about your relationship. I feel like different friends serve different, serve different purposes. Like you could talk to one friend about your relationship and you could talk to one friend about, you know, something you're going through. But like, you can't talk to just one friend about everything because different friends serve different purposes. Your married friend is going to give you good marital advice, but your single friend going to be like, girl, fuck him, leave him. I'm not leaving my husband. <laughs> I'm not leaving my husband. So talk to... Different friends serve different purposes. You cannot vent to everybody about your relationship. Don't vent to nobody, really. Number whatever, I don't remember. So I'm going to just quit saying number. Do whatever makes you happy because people going to talk regardless. No matter if you're doing what makes you happy, don't make, no matter if you're doing what makes somebody else happy, people going to talk regardless. People going to be judgmental regardless. So do whatever makes you happy because if people going to talk regardless, why do something that don't make you happy? Do what makes you happy. And don't give a fuck about what nobody else thinks. Don't. The next one would be to save money. Make sure you save money. Like, if you can, try to prevent living life paycheck to paycheck. Like, you never know what would happen. You never, like, people get flat tires. Some, like, you might have a car accident or, like, anything could happen. Just make sure you, like, have spare money. Like, even, like, an emergency fund or like make sure you're saving money like make sure you have a savings account you're not just living off a checking account like make sure you're saving something even if you're like saving five dollars a check ten dollars a check make sure you're saving or putting back something so that you can always have something that's so that you won't find yourself asking people for a fuck ass thing just make sure you have money so save money that goes along with my next one. Don't let nobody ask you for nothing that you know you can't ask them for. Like, if you know you can't ask nobody to borrow no money, don't let nobody borrow no money. <laughs> if you know you can't ask nobody to watch your kids for you, don't watch their kids for them. Because you're going to always feel like, damn, I'm doing all this for them. And I got all these favors to give them. And that ain't got nothing for me. So to save your heartbreak, don't, ask, don't let nobody ask you for nothing that you can't ask them for. And that goes on to the next one. Like, don't overplay your part in people's lives. Like, don't give out more than you receive. Like, don't overplay your part, period. Like, we always find ourselves trying to always be the one to show up for people. And, like, low-key borderline people, please. Low-key borderline people, please. Like, don't overplay your part in people's lives. Give out the same energy that you're receiving. And nothing more. Because it's quick to get burnt out on a friendship fast. And, like, that's how friendships have friendship, like, blowouts and explosions. And, like, because one person feel like they put in so much, so much energy and so much time. And they care so much about a friendship and they're not giving it a return. That's why you don't overplay your part. That's why you don't give out more energy than you receive. That's why you don't give out more love than you receive. So you can never feel burnt out. Or you can never feel like you're being used. Don't overplay your part. And that's what relationships, too. Don't overplay your part in relationships. Like, I always see, like, I have a friend now that's currently dating. And I'm just like, don't overplay your part, boo. You're dating. That means you are dating. That means you don't have to date one person. Like, you can date around. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't overplay your part. Because you never know what these men these days, baby. You never know what these men these days. Don't overplay your part. Date around. Don't give all yourself to one man. Because a man can change and flip in a second and just be like, oh, we were just dating. Don't overplay your part. 
You date, baby. You have fun. We young as fuck. You have fun. Don't play. Communication is the key to all relationships in your life. Like, friendships, relationships, communication is the key. Because, like, so many relationships get ruined by a motherfucker. Like, let me stop this. By somebody, like, saying, well, I thought you was feeling like this, or I thought you was feeling like that. Communication is the key, girl. So nobody won't get nothing mixed up or misconstrued. Communication is the key. All you got to do is communicate. Like, arguments will be saved with just a little communication. Like, people could be so stubborn and, like, so, like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She can think what she what think. But, like, communication can solve so many, like, relationships and so many heartbreaks and so many um friendships. When all you got to do is talk. Open your mouth and talk. Open your mouth and talk literally. That's it. Girl, communication is healthy. So, it won't leave no room for assuming. A communication leaves no room for assuming. Like, I assume you was mad because it is. Girl, ask me if I'm mad. Babe, ask me if I'm mad. Don't assume. Communication is the key. This kind of goes into my next one. Like, I kind of, like, wrote these down perfectly, like, in order. Like, some, the next one is you have to, like, shut up and let your man leave sometimes. Like, when me and my man first got married, y'all, I was just like, can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing, okay? Like, you can't tell me a fuck-ass thing. It is what it is. I feel how I feel. And it's just going to be that. But as I have gotten older, I've, like, learned to let my man leave sometimes. And that's, that's not a bad thing because the man's supposed to be the leader of the house. So... Sometimes I may be right and I still be trying to argue with him and I know he be right. Yeah, I know how that go. But I just learned to like just shut up and just let him lead sometimes. Or if I don't agree with him sometimes, sometimes I take his path because sometimes his path do be correct or do be better. Even though I don't be wanting to like agree with it at the time. I already know he has my best interest at heart and he would never steer me wrong. So I have to learn to like shut up sometimes and just let him do him do. Let him be the man. Like, I know you in charge. I'll tell y'all that I aligned these um pointers up good i definitely did because the next one is sometimes you're the problem like you're not always right girl sometimes you're the problem you're for sure the problem sometimes your shit does think so don't ever think that you're perfect and you're never the problem because everybody has flaws like you're not always right sometimes you're the problem and we need to know that my next one would be to trust God. Everything happens according to his plan. He has our mouth, ma our lives already mapped out. He want to put more on you that, can, that you can bear. So I just say trust him. Trust God. Everything happens according to his plan. You all, you'll probably think like, why is this happening to me? Like why every time I turn around, something bad is happening. But I just say, trust God, talk to him, stay prayed up. And everything happens according to his plan. So, like, never lose faith, never give up, never try to throw in the towel type of thing. Because it's never gay throwing the towel. Y'all seen the TikTok? He said it never gay throwing the towel. Never gay it. Trust God, boo. Y'all, I'm watching Love is Blind. And, like, girl, if you don't watch Love is Blind, what are you doing? Like, watch Love is Blind. It just makes me so freaking happy to, like, when they finally see each other and they come out of the pods, like, love is real. And if you know me, you know I'm a lover girl. But let's keep going. Okay, so, like, this one is truly a big one for me. And, like, I really, really, really had to, like, learn and grow through this one. And it's, people is not obligated to support you and obligated to do things for you. It's, it's good. It feels good. And you feel loved to have that love and support from your loved ones. But it's not their obligations. Nobody's obligated to buy you a birthday gift. Nobody's obligated to buy your baby a birthday present or your you a baby shower gift. Nobody's obligated to share your YouTube videos, share your reels. Nobody's obligated to buy things from your business that you just, it feels good. It feels damn good to have that love and support from people that you love and people that you show the love and support to. But it's not their obligation. And I feel like I've grown to learn that I I've grown to learn that you cannot be mad at somebody for not supporting you. It feels damn fucking good to have it. Like, you feel over the moon. Like, damn, everybody support me. Like, this is the best. But it's not the obligation. You cannot be mad at your friends for not sharing your stuff. You cannot be mad at your friends for not buying you stuff. Ain't nobody obligated to tell you happy birthday. 
Ain't nobody obligated to tell you happy birthday. Now, how you react to that, about how you react to, like, okay, if somebody don't tell me happy birthday, I won't tell them happy birthday. That's cool, but you can't, like, like hold a grudge, be mad at them, mug them, or want to fight them when you see them out in public type of thing. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody obligated to do a fuck-ass thing for you, baby. You make your motherfucking self happy. No matter who supports you, who don't support you, you... Keep posting your content. You keep doing your shit. Because I literally had to go through this, y'all. Like, I literally went through this. You keep posting your content. You keep being a great fucking human being. You keep supporting other people, even though you don't get that support. Because truth be told, support comes from fucking complete strangers. The most support comes from complete strangers. It don't even come from your loved ones. Complete stranger will love you and ride or die for you, bitch, before your family or friends will. I had to fucking learn that, literally. So, nobody is obligated to do a fuck ass thing for you. Nobody is obligated to show you love, and nobody's obligated to buy you anything or celebrate you. Period. This one is everybody is not your friend. Stop calling them friend. It's cute to be like, hey, friend. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. What's up, friend? No. Everybody's not your friend. Stop calling them friend, girl. They're not your friend. Next one is take nothing personal. Like, don't take shit personal, bitch. Let me quit. Kissing is my favorite thing to do. Don't take nothing personal seriously because it is what it is. And I've had to learn to like this one too. Because like it's never that serious. Like it's never that deep. Like don't take nothing personal. It is what it is, girl. Keep it pushing. Keep it going. Take things for what it is and accept shit for what it is. The quicker you do that, the quicker, the easier it is to be happy and the easier it is to move on with your life. Like don't dwell on shit. Don't take nothing personal. It's okay to say no. Girl, I don't feel like going out. No. No, I don't have no money for you to borrow. No, you cannot have this. No, I'm not going there. And you don't have to have a logical explanation for it. It's just no, really. It's just no. Just no. And you don't have to explain yourself. It's just no. And... People can get like me. I'm talking about people. I like I used to can get like so caught up into like people please and say, Yeah, I'll go to this knowing damn well I ain't coming to it. Like, yeah, I'll do this knowing damn well I'm not gonna have the time to do it. Or I'll try to hear it or try to do it, like try to fit so much of my schedule to try to people please somebody and like <sighs> ass kiss basically, borderline ass kissing, like to be a people person and to be, you know, always showing up and there for somebody like to have that title but like it's okay to say no i've learned that it's okay to say no i can't make that no i can't do this no i can't buy this no i'm not you know it's okay to say no being happy is a self-responsibility you can not give somebody that much power over you to that you're not happy like, it's a self-responsibility. You can't be like, well, bitch, you made me mad. You did this. Blah, 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 blah. No. Don't let somebody get you there. You're giving them too much power. So, being happy is a self-responsibility. You can't blame someone else for you not being happy. Even though something they may did made you feel away, but like I said before, don't take nothing personal. Don't take nothing personal. Period. Don't take nothing personal. Don't give nobody that trying to control over you. Everything that glitters for damn show sure ain't gold, baby. Everything that glitters ain't gold. You ain't got to answer the phone if you don't want to. If you just not in the spirit of answering the phone, baby, you ain't got to answer your phone. If you just chilling, relaxing, having a good time by yourself, watching the show that you watching, and somebody call you and disturb me, your show and your piece, do not have to answer the phone if you don't want to. And that goes into my next one. Don't force conversations. Don't force no conversation. Like, you ain't got to be on the phone, like, holding the phone. That's not what you want to do. Like, you ain't got to be on the phone holding the phone. If you don't want to talk, just don't answer your phone. If you don't want to text somebody back, don't text somebody back. If you, like, if you got friends that be like, I ain't talked to you in a week, and that's your man, and you feel like you're obligated to text them what you're doing, don't force what you're doing conversations. Like, it is what it is. We is wrong. We got our own lives. I ain't got to talk to you every day. Like, don't, I ain't about to force a conversation. Don't force conversations. Period panties are tea. Like, literally, girl. I used to say, girl, I ain't gonna wear no diaper. I used to be like, I'm not gonna wear no diaper. Girl, please. We'll throw it on in a minute. Period panties, I mean, period diapers are, because that's what it is, a diaper. But I only wear it, like, 
I only wear it like when I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm not about to be walking around with a diaper on all day. Like, no, I only wear it when I'm asleep. But like, they're so comfortable. Like, you get no mists, no spills. Even though I don't have a like a heavy period, it's just like so comfortable. And you can just sleep with it on. Like, I don't sleep with no shorts on over it. I just sleep with my diaper on. And I like to like sleep in the nude. So like sleeping like that it just makes it so comfortable and you just feel like you're not even on your period type of thing like period period diapers are tea girl literally this one is going to be don't take anything for granted like don't take anything for granted don't take life for granted life is too short like life is too short people are dying young like accidents are happening like tragic accidents like it's so crazy like all the stuff that go on in the world like, don't take anything for granted. Don't take life for granted. Don't take people for granted. Next one is time. Don't wait on nobody. Baby, whatever you want to do, like, whatever you plan to do, like, whatever career goals you want to take, go ahead and do it. Because time literally waits on no one. Time is going to pass you by, baby. I'll be like, I'm going to cook in a minute at 6 o'clock. Next thing you know, it's 8 o'clock. Time don't wait on nobody. The time is ticking. The time is keep ticking. Post your country. Do what you got to do to be where you want to be in life because the time is ticking and time don't on nobody and you don't want to be old and great and life didn't pass you the fuck by this one i've learned is don't run your credit up i was blessed to have to like travel the world because i got married young i was blessed to travel the world and like meet new people and like i've met like i've had like older friends everywhere i've went and like they have just taught me like don't run your credit up because they're older so they've done it and I haven't, like, done it because I'm, like, young. But don't run your credit up. You can't get shit in your name with bad credit. You can't do nothing with bad credit. So don't run your credit up. Nobody care about how much money you got no more. It's all about, like, your credit. Don't run it up. Over stupid stuff. Anyways. A next one would be you cannot satisfy everybody. Like, you just cannot. It's impossible to try to satisfy everybody. You're going to burn yourself out trying to satisfy everybody or trying to satisfy the next person that's why i said earlier do what makes you happy because you can't satisfy everybody just do what makes you happy period next one is it's okay to chill with your man like it's definitely okay i'd rather hang with my aunt man anyways everything free ain't no drama you get what you want to get for free you ain't gotta buy nothing and it's just cool to just hang out with your dude and that's your girl sometimes. You ain't got to go with your girls all the time. Just be like, girl, I'm telling you what I mean tonight. And I'm wrong with that. My last one will be put yourself first. No matter what, girl, put yourself first. Because if you don't put yourself first, if you don't look out for you, who is? Like, literally put yourself first. Don't put nobody before yourself. You got to look out for yourself, baby. Because this is a selfish world that we live in. So be selfish with yourself. And that will be my 26 things I've learned by the age of 26. Use them. Period. Peace out.